How did Thinking Batman become Batman? He started out rich. That's how most artists become artists. Well, okay, so how did, <laughs> he's a how did Green Arrow become Green Arrow? I don't know. He's exactly, it's exactly the same as Batman. But he, he crashed on an island and figured out how to make a bow and arrow. Welcome to Cloud Town Tuesday, the day where I share a page from my graphic novel, Cloud Town, and um, tell you about the process of making it. It's like a editor's commentary on a DVD. Here it is. Let's go. Let's do it. If you want to be a famous artist, starting out rich seems helpful, <laughs> but what's the point? <laughs> Talk to your parents about that. Yeah. You know, ask them, why are you poor? <laughs> you know, what is this? This is the reason I can't draw. Yeah, this <laughs> is the reason I can't have an art career. Dad! You know, I do think I want to have a series where I just take some time and think about Mom. what I would like to have known earlier. One thing I would like to have known earlier is just like a lot of the the concepts of how to move toward getting a book deal and getting a following and getting um, you know a closer to a career or a really nice robust hobby if that's where your heart lies like honestly both are fine. Part of that is just um, not as bombastic and crazy as it sounds. Part of it is really just like having a schedule, being consistent, making goals for improvement, doing small projects, showing up places, um, letting people see you. Some some of the cartoonists that have new book deals out that I have met and talked with went to cons regularly, had a new product every con. Sometimes they were just illustrations or a little zine and kept doing that until people wanted their stuff. And once people want your stuff, editors, agents, all those people notice because they want people to want their stuff. And it's if you all can about make persistency. It, it's it's partially about it. Persistence is important. Persistence is real important, I think. We talk about yeah. it. Quality is important. It's unclear what qualities, because different qualities are important to different people. Probably, like you said, it depends on your style and what you're aiming for with yeah. the different qualities. And what the fickle fans in the world would be interested yeah, in. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't them. worry, but they are the water you're swimming in. If you want to be red, it's about the feelings of other people. It are should you... be like some of what you want in no, your that's, work that's... and what other people want. I, like I, a mix I, of both. I, if you're I, always, to I always have a problem writing with it, the concept of a target audience. Um, but you know, well, you, just write, you just write for me now. You just write to make me happy, right? That's yeah, why. that's pretty... Well, I don't know. <laughs> no, I, I you might don't. be actually <laughs> the opposite. It. Yeah, poop emoji. I like the um, black hair contrast shading. Thank you. Sometimes I like these pages before I shade them because they're just easier to read. Um, and that's something that like they talk about in Bakuman when people add too much gray tones. Yeah. Um, it becomes a mush. You know, the, the creator of uh, One Piece doesn't use tones like at all. Wow, that's, it's like, that's amazing. He's I mean, such a good cartoonist. He's so good. Just yeah. black and white. And occasionally he'll use a tone for like a night scene, but it looks real out of place. He's just like, you know, with deadlines, once you start putting gray down, it's all over. <laughs> um, you need a team to, like, you he know. He has a team, and he's still, he's you know, still like, if, if you don't, if you can cut oh, wow. that out, cut it out. Wow. But interesting. I, he's all detail, too, actually, so you can yeah. pull off um, detail in comics. So, in, in, in those studio setups, it's usually, like, the main artist plus draws the characters and the layouts, and then they have... Uh, assistance to the backgrounds? It really depends, uh, it depends but right? I certainly am interested in, we've talked about this, exploring doing that. Um, partially because that's just the way I'd like to live. I'd like to be drawing with people more. <laughs> it would yeah. make me happier, I think, uh, for the most part. I do like this technique I started doing where I just had the background characters and stuff just be in the blue tones. Yeah, I like that. Oh, yeah. It, a, it, it creates um, that atmospheric. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what I started doing. There. Oh, just the beat didn't feel right because the no talking came after. And I wanted it to come before, so I had them go to the behind them in the classroom. Oh, did you switch it? Yeah, here, I'll go back a little bit. Yeah. Oh, I see it. So it yeah, starts yeah, over yeah. here because... Oh, yeah, that works a lot better. But yeah, it just it. got confusing. Like, I wanted you to understand that they were typing in they their goggles. They were, like, shutting up after that. Well, I wanted you to know that Penn and Olive were typing in their goggles, and this was, like, the lesson they were working on. Oh. But if you went from them typing to this to that, it was just, like, a little <laughs> less clear. A weird skit. I guess... Dun, 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 dun. I think you're doing good. 